Anthony, I want to start by asking you about the day you had against the Houston Texans. You had over 100 receiving yards. Are you starting to feel like you're a primary threat within this Titans offense? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to be able to like, find a role for the offense and be able to be in the spot when Ryan needs me. Yeah, it just so happened that I got a couple extra targets this game. And I mean, yeah, I was excited to just have a big role in the win. What is it about Ryan Tannehill's leadership that makes this team so successful in high pressure situations? Yeah, I mean, he does a great job calming everyone down and just having that trust in the huddle that we know we can win the game no matter what the situation. Yeah, everyone's in there trusting each other and just executing what we do in practice and what we've done in past couple games. And we know we can come out on top. We just do the right thing. How does your preparation throughout the week, whether it be in practice or meetings, help prepare you for those high pressure, stressful situations? Yeah, I think Coach Rabel does a great job of kind of going through as many situations as he can. I know there's millions of different situations, but he does a great job giving us time and practice to watch it in film or kind of give us practice reps on different situations, whether it's X amount of time on the clock, timeouts. So yeah, we feel like we've run these similar situations in practice and we just go out there and execute. Tight ends are a major part of this Titans offensive scheme. What does that say to you about Arthur Smith and how much he trusts all the guys in that room to get the job done? Yeah, I think Arthur coming from a tight ends position and coaching a lot of us prior to being the coordinator. I mean, yeah, he feels like he has trust in us. And um, yeah, Todd did a great job stepping up at that tight ends coach role. He just gets us in the right play, able to coach us to know what we got to do, know how we can execute, gives us all the tools we need. Yeah, if we're just able to keep being productive, um, yeah, we'll just keep coming our way. The Titans have come out on top in a lot of close victories. As a player, how much confidence does that give you in the entire system that you're running that this stuff actually works? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen the time in and time out, game after game, that we've been successful and able to come out with the win. So, I mean, we're on the sidelines and the defense is out there, the offense is out there. We're cheering and we are have faith that they're going to be able to get the job done to have us execute and win the game. Does it take a little bit longer to get over a close victory? Do you need a little bit longer to celebrate, longer than maybe just 24 hours? Um, no, I think we have a, yeah, we have a great mentality in this, in the locker room where we just looking at one game at a time and after Sunday, we win that game. I mean, we're looking at next week and just kind of focused on that. We know not to look in the past and not to get too high, not to get too low. How good does it feel to be 5-0 and right now? Yeah, it feels good. I think we put ourselves in a good situation, but there's still a lot more games left in the season and we got to keep improving each week. What sets this 2020 team apart from some of the other Titans teams that you've been a part of? I think just more, there's more confidence and trust. I mean, we've been running the same offense and similar defense schemes and just being able to trust each other and communicate and just have that type of camaraderie on the team is, yeah, just gives us all the confidence in the world. Yeah.